Is being in a death camp really living? No. Black people don't live. We exist all over the world, including black people who have a lot of money. Why? Because you're in, in an artificial situation, something made up called the system of white supremacy, where people are harmed based on color. Just being in that system alone poisons everything. There's nothing that's not poison in every area of activity. For everybody in the field of economics, education, education is poison, all of it. They're talking about some CRT trying to single that out. No, it's poisonous from top to bottom. The education system. Why? Because it's all supportive of the system of white supremacy. Entertainment, same thing. Labor, same thing. Law, same thing. Politics, religion, sex, and of course, it's all war, the ninth area of activity. We're trying to muster a counter war against it in our own feeble ways, and it hasn't been successful. But everything that's in place is supportive of what's already in place and the anchor for everything that people do on the planet. And that is this evil system. It's an evil system called the system of white supremacy. Now, it does produce material things. It's very efficient when it comes to handling things. No system has proven itself superior to the system of white supremacy when it comes to producing products in the form of things. But the products that it produces in the form of people, interacting with people, the way that people should interact with people, it is a total failure because it's intended to be a total failure. They brag about that. That's why the system of white supremacy incorporates and glorifies what? Murder more than anything. Even at Christmas time, a lot of people are going to get a lot of books and, and videotapes and whatnot and look at a lot of programs of combat, of murder, of bloodshed. A lot of toys are in the form of what? Getting ready to kill somebody. Water guns. Bang, bang, bang. I shot you first. Fall down, you dead. Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. 